Yo, 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 this is King Erna coming to y'all guys live and direct. The Honorable Talk Show, of course. Tonight I wanted to speak on the youngest. I wanted to allow the youngest to understand that you don't have to be down, man. You know, you can change it up. You know what I'm saying? You can make that legal thing that you do something positive. You know, that legal thing. You can put it on the ears like everybody promote negativity. You can use your... Instagram, YouTube, or whatever it is you do to promote that positivity that you do. See, sometimes being down can put you in a position where, you know, you wind up in jail or dead. See, because in you guys' era, the being down is a little different than my era. The, uh, the being down is more or less of you doing crime and then end up getting locked up and continuing to do crime again because majority of the individuals in this era they wind up working for the police and a lot of people is missing the fact that when you're younger you know when you're a young individual what you can do is you know stay positive you can have friends that are you know cool or whatever else you want to call them and guess what you can choose to be that officer that you want to be you don't have to wait being a negative individual all your life and then get locked up and all of a sudden you want to play Inspector Gadget, you know what I'm saying? We got to start really introducing that to the youth and letting them know that they can be more than just that. You know, I was reading something the other day where it said when it comes down to sports, especially football, like 1% of the, you know, the people that's playing make it. The thing is they're not really using the correct, the correct, Statistics, you see, they're not going in the hood, you know, they're going in reference to to white individuals and I'm not racist, but I just have to point that out. They're speaking of them because majority of everybody that I know that stuck to it and didn't go the wrong way made something out of themselves. You know, you can look up a kid by the name of Nasir Upshur. He's a he's a he's a tight end. He plays for Florida State and he's an animal with it. And guess what? It's a nephew of mine, you know what I'm saying? So I've known the kid for some years now, and I only know the kid to do things that was in the right direction of him becoming successful, you know? So we got to change the narrative. We got to, you know, put out a different type of energy because for some odd reason, they think that majority of the black young men that get it, they're going for playing sports and doing something positive end up falling off, and that's not true. A very small percentage of them end up into some trouble. Now, like I was saying to the youth, you must take time out. I mean, it, it, it's not even something that I can say you can sleep on. You got to do it now. It has to be something that you, you know, that you do every day. You see how I do the videos and sometimes I might do four or five videos a day. Well, this is how I carry it. Just to give you a plan of motivation. I might do about 10 videos, right? One day. And what I'll do is I'll just come back and post them as I go along. What ends up happening is the crowd comes and the message is heard more. It's not about the view because when you post over top of posts, what ends up happening is one post won't get the recognition it was supposed to. So now every post will begin to get the recognition because people are tuning in to restoring honor. I'm King Erner from the Honor Your Life campaign. I want the youth to start being themselves. And being yourself is not what people think. Just because you grew up in poverty or just because you had a hard life or just because you've seen things shouldn't make you not want to be successful. Guess what? Because you went through those things, because you had those rough times, it's you that's qualified to be more successful than anybody. I'm King Erner from the Honor Your Life campaign. I want you guys to choose honor. And when you choose this honor that I'm speaking of, it has to run through your veins. It has to be something that you do every day. It's almost like drinking water. When you drink water, when you talk to somebody that got some love or some support, that got something to do with positivity, that should be your honor. That should be your motivation. And guess what? That motivation will get whatever that you need to be or get done to be successful happen right away, not later. And guess what? You think it's a struggle, you think you get, you don't have no money and you'll wake up and all of a sudden you're getting calls, you're getting jobs. And again, before I go, I want for all the youngest to understand, I am available for you to hit my email, honoryourlifecampaign720 at gmail.com. 
You're allowed to hit me there, not with nonsense, but if you need help of building a resume, you need help of filling out an application, I'm your guy. I'm here to help you guys in action, even though I work an eight-hour shift like everybody else, Kinger and Alive and Direct.